a role that the candles play in helping us communicate with our ancestors. One, candles, different colors have different meanings. Uh, for instance, if you use white candles, they uh, represent purity. The energy that you're trying to channel is pure, it's clean, it's white. And then red is for barrier, protecting the energy that you have created, meaning nothing evil should penetrate this energy. So that's what the red is for. Then we have the yellow, which represent amadlozi. Then we have the blue, which re represent peace, calm, and healing, as well as forgiveness. And then green, which is for growth, stability, and finances. So each candle represents something when, when switching them on. For instance, Avantabayanza Istunya will use more of the white and the yellow candles. The white representing the purity in terms of the energy that they're trying to channel, and the yellow being Amadlozi. But because they use the Bible and water to heal people, not as Ubungoma, it's, it, it's then channeled in a different way. Because then they have water and the Bible in terms of asking God to help them communicate. 12 o'clock is the best time to pray. Uh, when you pray to God in order for him to connect you with your ancestors. But 3 o'clock is also the best time to switch on your candles in, in the morning because we believe that is the most potent time in terms of connecting Namalozwako. Abokoko wake up and help us to to bath in your meeting a panje, but kine ungogoda ikobongo in dumbeni at three o'clock. So when you switch on the candles and the candles don't want to switch on, there is a problem. Your, your, your spiritual guides, your ancestors, do not want to communicate with you. Meaning there is a problem with you indeed. One, the foundation to a healthy spiritual journey is to cleanse. To cleanse the place that you stay in. You don't need to be extensive. There are things called white sage that you can cleanse your home with. And then, when you communicate with your ancestors, they're able to reciprocate and talk back and, and show you things. When I put out my candles, respecting the energy that I've created in that moment in time, it is wrong for you to blow out candles. Um, you need to respect the energy that was created and the people that came forward while you are busy or praying to your ancestors or God. Even when I consult with my clients, my candles are always on. So respecting the energies that I've channeled through them, you don't just blow out candles. I like to switch off my candles, as I've done with my hands, and respecting the energy flow that is released from the candle. 